my name is Dr. Christina Lampe. I'm working at the University Hospital in Gießen, Germany, at the Department of Child Neurology, and we created the Rare Disease Center, taking care of a lot of MPS patients. I'm quite connected to the MPS Association Germany, so I have an overview of about 50 MPS2 patients. Actually, MPS2 is a rare um, inborn um, disease. There are progressive diseases or storage diseases, meaning that at the beginning, when the children are, when the child is born, they look absolutely healthy, normal, even more proper than healthy children. The MPS um, patients, when, when you see them first, um, and if they are very small and at young age, you don't see a lot of um, um, symptoms, umbilical hernia in combination with some recurrent infections of the airways or the ears and mild developmental delay. So nothing very special, very typical for children in kindergarten, at kindergarten age. What you see is that they look different from their families. This is something that you can really um, realize the parents and the the, the siblings look totally different and sometimes they have an, a little bit enlarged head and the face is a tiny little bit more coarse than in the other family members. This is something you can see and then sometimes in very um, um, young children you can see when you try to walk around with them and taking them on their hands that they are very stiff in their shoulders. Actually, the most um, frequent misdiagnosis I see is no diagnosis, which is a disaster for parents because parents need a diagnosis or have a name for the disease to understand what is, or to inform themselves about the disease, to understand what is needed in the progression of the disease, which checkups are needed, which organ could be or might be involved, to connect to an expert center for this disease and also to, to connect to a patient organization and to understand the in inheritance of these diseases, to understand also how is um, about uh, family planning. We know that 70% of MPS2 patients um, have a cognitive involvement, so that means each patient has his individual behavior problem. What is very common is hyperactivity, um, aggression but it's not an aggression to harm someone but it is an not knowing exactly how to to be in contact with other people so instead of um, saying hello they are hitting a child but it is not in a in a bad way it is just because they have no balance of their their feelings they are overloaded in a supermarket for example with all these impressions they have people and uh, things you can buy, but they, they, they are not able to to digest these things or to, to find a way to cope with that. And this is why they get aggressive or nervous, hyperactive. For families, it is extremely difficult to have a child that is not healthy. There's sometimes other siblings and they have really to take care of not only the, the, the healthy siblings, but also of this child. And this child needs a lot of um, time and care. The key challenges in facing families with Hunter syndrome is that um, it is not only the, the child that is affected, but the whole family due to the multisystemic disease, due to the um, patients with a cognitive involvement, the hyperactivity, the losing ability. So it's a psychological um, impact on the whole family, the siblings, and also for the parents because they are losing friends um, um, by, um, because a lot of families are not, um, or people are not, don't know how to manage um, other families with children that are hyperactive. And sometimes these um, MPS2 patients don't sleep properly during night and then they sleep during the day. Uh, the parents are tired because they did not sleep during night. The siblings as well. They need a lot of um, inpatient stays because of infections or surgeries. They need a lot of visits uh, um, with pediatricians or other specialties because of pain or heart involvement and so on. So the, the life is really turning around this child and um, this is why the impact is not only on the child but the whole family.
It's also something that parents uh, sometimes think that it is due to a mistake in pregnancy that the child is born um, with a defect. For, for parents, the, the most important um, is to, to find a diagnosis, to know what you have to deal with, to know which is your expert, which is the patient organization. You can Google and you can find information um, um, about this disease. You, you have the chance to connect with other parents to understand how to manage in the best way your child. You, you know that you did nothing wrong. These are um, multisystemic diseases and you have a lot of chances to improve their quality of life. There are some very useful websites like huntersyndrome.info where you can have get a lot of material also in PDF to download but also podcasts and more information about Hunter Syndrome.